Hello again. Just so you know a little bit more about our squareds program, a little bit more about bidding the horse and my tack. Because, um, you know, everyone gets a little bit more curious the more they know. Um, what I use is a Myler level one snaffle. As the horse gets more and more aged or the showing needs more and more bit, then I switch. But for as long as a horse is trail ridden and softness is needed, I don't use anything more than a Myler level one. There's a roller in the middle. What I like about this bit is that it doesn't fold all the way in half. It just offers this much bend in the bit. It offers a little bit of salivation with the uh, uh, copper inlays. It has a full O-ring snaffle. It slides, it's not a D. Um, I make sure that my bit is maintained uh, by testing it on my fingers to see if skin gets taken through. But if you're soft with your hands, you shouldn't really have an issue. Um, once you start to pull on a horse's bit, then it starts to pull more of their skin through. Uh, but my method has always been never pull. Use your legs, use other methods to regain control. Get the horse's mind. Don't just pull on this bit. Uh, it doesn't matter what kind of bit you have, if in the wrong hands you're going to do damage. Um, so what I suggest is go simple until you learn of what you'd like or what you want to switch to, work with a trainer. Um, I, all I have here is a strap that will prevent me as a trainer, um, you know, in case I need to do a one rein stop, the bit sliding horse, a young, sliding through a young horse's mouth. Um, in this case of a more seasoned horse, not needed. Uh, I use a standard western head stall. I like this style. It's a slip ear, maybe not your style. It doesn't matter, but this is a, a complete leather look. What I do like as a trainer is zero Chicago screws on my bridle. I like all buckles. Chicago screws happen to wear out and loosen over time, and then your bridle falls apart when you're least expecting it. I like to be sure that my leather is oiled and maintained, and I don't have to run into that issue at all. I use 100% um, leather split rein. They're approximately seven foot long, full leather. Uh, they're not connected. I like to be able to use the end of my rein as a crop if I need to, it's an emergency crop um, for the young horses as I train, but in the end, it's preference. I like the weight and I like to be able to lengthen my reins with the horse's neck and the different sizes that I work with, it works well for me. Um, but for you, it might be carry a crop or <clears throat> be confident with your leg. Use a split rein if you want that ability to have a crop in your hand at some time. But that's neither here nor there. Let's talk about whiskey. This is a standard bridle. There's no real difference. Uh, you could go with a standard snaffle if you needed to on whiskey. Um, but I, in this case, I've been using this snaffle on him and it's worked really, really well. When I bridle him, I'm going to either stick my hand between his ears holding the crown piece or holding the two cheek pieces over the bridge of his nose, holding the bit in my other hand as a cradle. I'd be able to see that. Sticking my thumb in that corner of his mouth and then he gingerly opens as he opens. He's never tried to do any funny business. I slip it in and keep my hand on the crown piece or the cheek pieces and pull it over my far ear and over my near ear. And I'm fitting that little one ear as I speak. I always like to have a longer than necessary uh, 
cheek piece. So I had that size down while bidding him, and now I'm going to snug it up a bit. I have a throat latch on there. I'm just going to cause that or snug that to three fingers here. Um, he's at this very loose. He's just holding that bit. There's like barely a wrinkle, maybe a wrinkle and a half down here at his mouth. They say two wrinkles, but I like a horse to just be able to feel and pick up the bit. I don't like to cram it in there. There's plenty of space down here um, with my high down strap for the snaffle. There's plenty of room in the cheek piece here. So I believe this fits very, very well.